guys welcome back to the channel today's video i wanted to do i've been wanting to do this video for a while on how i uh safely load and haul lumber back and forth dealing with a short box truck this is the um <clears throat> it's the tundra crew max with the the stupid five foot bed on here or whatever however long it is it's definitely not six foot uh short bed but i got a 12 foot long um haul here a lot of 12 foot 10 foot and 8 foot pieces and I just wanted to show kind of the rig and how I I get it home and I get it home safely um be also a good time for me to show you this load gator uh, I tried to before I did this video I tried to find this thing on Amazon again I can't find it but this thing is awesome I I don't know why maybe they just temporarily out of it but you can actually just change the light setting on this thing I think I did a video on this once before uh, you can also make it amber by uh, hitting a setting inside. Uh, I believe it's right in here. You can go to, I got some rechargeable batteries in here, but you can go to amber and also do the amber blink, which is cool. So this uh, basically replaces the need to add a, a little red um, towel or a red flag off the back of stuff. It's, it's all integrated in. It's got these little arms that fold like this uh, to store, stow it away. And it uses like a little alligator clip style. Uh, uses, yeah, this little alligator clip style to, to, it does bite into your wood a little bit, which kind of sucks, but um, if it means getting rear-ended or not, I'll, uh, I'll sand the wood down a little bit. So this is a uh, 12 foot long lumber. This is 10 foot long lumber. This is eight foot long lumber. Now you can see with the eight foot stuff, it's pretty easy in the back of the Tundra. But the way I do it is I attach it um, on these, the built-in bed hooks on each side and that you can't really see um, here in the front. And it cinches it down here. And then also, if you want for good measure, you, sometimes I'll do it is I'll run another strap in the back there to cinch it down. This load's pretty evenly centered on this pinch point. Then what I do, instead of just stopping there, I actually wrap the wood all the way around like that. And I pinch it again together. So I like bundle it right here with this strap and this locks it all together. So when you, you know, when I'm shaking it like this back and forth, None of that crap's going anywhere. And if you make it, if the highest point of the wood is in the center, then it'll pinch it better versus if you had a bunch of high sides and then a low side in the center, this stuff will slide right out. So this, this is just kind of how I do it. So there it is from the back. Safely loaded. I do wish that Toyota get on a little bit of a rant here. I do wish Toyota would make the crew max with an eight foot bed. I would trade this thing in in a second uh, to do that just because, I mean, there's so many times you need an eight foot bed to get stuff done, especially like stuff like this, where if I had an eight foot bed, I wouldn't really have to worry too much about, you know, having to go through all these extra steps. But I do like the, uh, the larger cab on the crew max. So I guess, you can want in one hand, shit in the other, and see which comes first. So, but yeah, guys, I just want to do this video. I've been wanting to do a video a while on how I safely load it. Uh, these are the Rhino USA straps. Um, they are not made in the USA. They are designed and engineered in the USA, and probably made in China. So, <laughs> but they're pretty tough, and I like those a lot. So yeah, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, happy Saturday. Uh, gonna start doing this room here and i'll be posting videos of this project here coming up soon so remember rate comment and subscribe and i'll get you in the next video later